next force that we will talk about is friction. If you rub your hands together, so just quickly rub your hands together and put them on your jaw. What do you feel? It feels warm. The reason it feels warm is because of friction. Now, friction is a contact force that prevents two surfaces in contact from slipping between from slipping or sliding across each other and it is a very very important force without friction it will be impossible to walk without friction it will be impossible for your car to drive if you are if you grew up where there was snow or when you drive into mud it's very easy for your car to get stuck because your tires will be spinning and spinning on end simply because the presence of snow or mud reduces the friction between your tires and the road. The reason why your tires are worn out after maybe a while is simply because of friction that exists between the tires and the road, which is kind of good because it keeps your car moving. So friction is an example of a contact force and only generated when two surfaces are in physical contact. Now there are two types of friction. You have static friction and you have dynamic friction. And it's pretty much easy to demonstrate the presence of both. What is static friction? Think about a box, a very big box. If you just push the box, initially it wouldn't move. But you're exerting a force forward and it wouldn't move. The fact that it doesn't move forward is an indication that there is a force opposing you backwards. That backward force that is opposing you is what we call static friction. So static friction really prevents objects from moving in the first place. Once the object begins to move, then dynamic or kinetic friction kicks in. So kinetic friction tends to prevent objects which are already in motion from being in motion. It tends to prevent objects or two surfaces in motion from sliding across each other. It is kinetic friction that causes your shoes to worn out. It is kinetic friction that causes your tires to worn out. It is really kinetic friction that warms you up when you rub your bodies or when you rub your hands together. So keep that in mind. Another very property of friction that is hard for you to see is the fact that Friction really doesn't depend on the surface area. If you have two objects made of the same material, it's important, polished to the same level, one with a larger surface and one with a smaller surface, they will experience the same amount of friction, irrespective of their surface area. This is really counterintuitive but the friction force acting on an object really is directly related to the normal force on that surface so the bigger the normal force the bigger the friction the smaller the normal force the smaller the friction so it's important to bring this in.